Absolutely. Newcastle have fancied their chances, no, no question, given what we've seen from them this year, as, as, as the graphic rightly pointed out. Um, but the issue is Liverpool. And, and, and Don's absolutely right. I, all things being even, Liverpool wins this convincingly nine times out of ten. But given the fact that they're continuing to chase this quadruple, the fact that they, they, they continue to play in, in, in Europe, we see how the squad has, is, is, is rotated and, and what effects that, that has. Um, maybe that's a little bit of, a, of, of the advantage that, that Newcastle needs. Um, but I, it's, it's, it's all, despite Newcastle's form, this is all about Liverpool. What version of Liverpool turns up? Because if it's... Mm -hmm. Eight out of ten Liverpool, they, they win it. He doesn't like those early kickoffs, though, does he? Not after the Champions League. Somebody's getting it. Oh. Broad entity <laughs> reporter. Somebody's getting it at the weekend. But you know, it, it's interesting. You know, going back to the point about giving managers a bit of time. <laughs> the knives were out for uh, Eddie Howe early on at Newcastle. You know, what's changed? It's the same old, same old. Can't win. Get and you know, he had a bit of time. Also, they had a good January transfer window. And obviously they're picking results up for fun. I do believe there was a graphic they showed they're almost as good as Liverpool. But so it is going to be a tough game, and it is one of the games I think when you look at, you think, oh, you know, City will be watching this, thinking this could be where Liverpool drops points. I, I don't think it will happen. But as Shaq said, if they're just a six out of ten on this day at St James's Park, Newcastle can win it. Uh, Mario, obviously Man City a point ahead of Liverpool in the Premier League table. We take a look at the remaining schedules here. Who do you have winning the title? Oh, I went for Liverpool. That was really quickly, uh, so I cannot change that because I don't like to tiptoe in different ways. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, you will shut me up when I <laughs> see the final stroke, but uh, Liverpool is definitely my catch. So that's why I focus on them, the way they play, the energy. But the question that the guys just highlighted, just coming out of the Champions League, going in straight into the Premier League, that could be one of the crucial things that could happen because then they could get a slip up. Why? Because we all know how it feels. Coming out of a big game, sometimes people don't understand. When you peak as a team, it's very hard to come back and do it again. And sometimes that could be really a downfall. He's not only got the luxury of rotating his fullbacks if he wants, Gomez or Samikas. He's been rotating his centre-halves as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, Henderson's been playing, kate has been playing, you know, Thiago's been in good form recently. I think the one the one key for me who might have to play, and he might not, and I heard Stevie talking about it yesterday, was Fabinho. OK. I, was, I thought you were, he's, he's taking some heat about his Thiago comments again, who? Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say? I did, I did, no, he's just, he's, he's just not totally sold, is he? And Thiago's been... Oh, yeah, but there. I mean, I'm just... I, I don't know if Thiago's start or not. I mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Someday, I'm looking at players who might you might not be able to get a rest. Is Virgil Van Dijk, and it could happen. It could be mm -hmm. Matip and Canati, and Fabinho. The way Fabinho protects and breaks up and starts attacks, even against Villarreal, who didn't have a lot of possession, but when Liverpool gave it away, or indeed Fabinho gave it away himself, he won it back straight away. And I, yeah, they could operate without him in there. You know, with Thiago Henderson, Keita, who had Curtis Jones, whoever it is. But I just feel it's such a crux part of the season. Resting Van Dijk and Fabinho in particular in those positions is going to be mm. tough. Those two, those yeah. two might have to just roll their sleeves up. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.